to be joined by Joe Gardner here at Lords. Joe, congratulations! You've had your contract renewed with Sunrisers for next year. Yeah, thank you very much. Again, like it's an absolute privilege to to be offered one. To be honest, um, just grateful for the opportunity, and yeah, hopefully have some more success next year. Obviously, domestic cricket's come a long way in 12 months. A great last year that we saw professional contracts for domestic women's cricketers. How much did you personally benefit from the extra focus that you had as a pro? Oh yeah, greatly. I think just just like the extra time on task was really beneficial for for everyone, and I think the strides that this team's made um, has, has has been dem demonstrated on the pitch by the improvements in performances that we saw last last year. Yeah, I agree enormously. I mean, the first year 2020, whilst all games played behind closed doors, was a tough year. We went winless. Last year we saw the first win. Despite those challenges, it's one thing that's really clear is you've got a great togetherness and team spirit in the team. Yeah, absolutely, and that was something that, that we were looking to build on um, from obviously our first year coming together in, in COVID times when we couldn't really socialise and things like that, um, away from, from kind of training and team environments, things like that. So, yeah, like this year's obviously been a lot better in, in, in that regard and hopefully it's been reflected in, in kind of how we've, we've stuck together and we've had to stick together. So, yeah, no, definitely, definitely shown that. Clear to see. Uh, away from Sunrises, Joe, a massive year for you playing in the inaugural year of the 100. Uh, Oval Invincibles, played here at Lords, played every game bar one, including the final here at Lords. Um, you're back here, a little bit quieter today. What was it like playing in front of 17,000 people? Yeah, it was a bit of a whirlwind, to be honest. Um, the day seemed to just fly by. I think there was a lot of rain around and then we were straight out on the pitch. So, yeah, it's hard to try and remember everything other than kind of just just how mad the game was um but yeah again another absolute privilege to be involved with and something i'm i'm very grateful for and and i can look back with yeah very fond memories being back here i'm sure you can it's a format of cricket that's split opinion it's divided the loyalty and, and passionate members some love it some hate it it's a bit marmite obviously you're in favor of it what do you think it's going to do for the women's game moving forward i think kind of the what we saw from this summer, I think it's just a starting point, especially for the women's game, the, Im the impact that it's had, you know, that, that first game at the Oval when there was kind of 12,000 people and then by the end you've got 17,000 in to watch the final before the men's game. I think that in itself says a lot and, and kind of breaking records as, as it's gone along. Um, and yeah, I think massive for the women's game in terms of giving us as players platforms to, to kind of look and improve our cricket and against the best in the world and that's been reflected in you know a couple of the girls being selected to go out and play in the in the big bash we've seen domestically which obviously so good for for our game in england so yeah massive joe one last word on sunrises um a year of growth a year of development in 2021 what are the hopes for 2022 i think most importantly just try and get a few more wins on the board i think that would be great um but no, definitely building on, on what we saw at the back end of, of this season, I think we'll definitely be in a good place next year. Couldn't agree with you more. Joe, congratulations again. All the very best luck in the coming 12 months. Thanks very much, Fletch.